so hello guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about accommodation of the eyeball so what is accommodation see uh, whenever we are uh, looking at a distant object uh, and we have another object near to us and we suddenly try to focus on the nearby object the changes through which our eye goes through uh, that is referred to as accommodation now basically what are the three main components of accommodation what constitutes the accommodation number one the increase in curvature of the lens that is the lens shortens the curvature increase of the lens increases thereby resulting in decrease in focal length of the lens second one is convergence of both the eyeballs see when we are looking at a uh, nearby object both the eyeballs converge to that particular object that is what is referred to as the second point now third one is meiosis that is pupillary constriction see when we are, we are looking uh, uh, at a nearby object uh, ample amount of light enters the eye so we don't need a um, bigger aperture to enter uh, means the amount of light is adequate so uh, that results in meiosis of the eye now here we have uh, here we are looking at the eyeball from the above okay now i want you to get the concept of ciliary muscles so when we uh, we are going to get a sagittal section that means if i am standing in an anatomical position the sagittal section is this way okay and we are going to get the sagittal section at the plane of the lens at the plane of the lens okay this is the right eye and when we get the sagittal section we are looking from front we are looking from front we get this view okay so this becomes the ciliary muscle remember ciliary muscle is circular it is in a circumference okay this is the ciliary muscle this is the lens this is the lens and these are the green colored ones are the ciliary zonules or they are also referred to as suspensory ligaments they are holding the lens in position and they are attached to the uh, ciliary muscle in their periphery now we get two conditions here okay we get two conditions when we are looking at a distant object what happens the preliminary position of the ciliary muscles and the condition of the ciliary muscles are as this okay when you are looking at a far uh, at an object far away what happens suddenly the ciliary muscles relax when the ciliary muscles relax the suspensory ligaments become taut and when they become taut they exert a force on the periphery of the lens so they pull the lens and when they pull the lens the lens becomes the lens lengthens the lens lengthens and their curvature decreases so their focal length increases did you understand see when the when we are looking at a far away object the ciliary muscles relax and the suspensory ligament contracts please uh, remember it's a very confusing area the when the ciliary muscles relax the suspensory ligament will contract it's not that the ciliary muscle contracts and then only the suspensory ligament contracts it's totally opposite the ciliary muscle relax and then the suspensory ligament contracts the concept lies here the ciliary ciliary muscles are circular in nature circularly arranged and suspensory ligaments are radially arranged so when the ciliary muscles relax the circumference increases so the <clears throat> extra space that is created that is uh, that has to be occupied by the radial fibers of the suspensory ligament so the uh, suspensory ligament fibers become taut so when they become taut then a force is exerted and the force pulls the lens on all sides or throughout the periphery outwards that results in lengthening of the lens or shortening of the curvature of the lens or increase in focal length of the lens this goes for far vision see this was the preliminary the dotted lines represent the preliminary position of the circular uh, the circular ciliary muscle and the blue dotted lines represent the preliminary position of the lens normal position of the lens when the ciliary muscles relax they move outward the suspensory ligaments are pulled outwards they become taut and they pull the lens on all sides e uh, equally uh, to lengthen the lens okay now the second condition is near vision this is what is referred to as accommodation when we are looking at a far vision that's not called that's not referred to as accommodation there we have near vision what happens when we are looking at a nearby object what happens the ciliary muscles 
contract the fibers the circular fibers contract when they contract the circle has to shorten when the circle has to shorten okay the ciliary what will happen the, the uh, what will happen to the suspensory ligaments when the circle shortens see these these are dot, the dotted lines represent the preliminary position of the ciliary muscles when the circle shortens the uh, ciliary uh, the suspensory ligaments will become uh, flax uh, they will um, not be taut okay the suspensory ligaments will loosen up okay so and we know the lens are lens is crystalline so it has its own elasticity when we have pulled the lens and when we leave it the lens will occupy uh, assume its uh, previous shape previous size just like a rubber band okay so when the ciliary muscles relax the circle shortens the suspensory ligaments become flax the suspensory ligaments shorten they relax very loose and that uh, the lens then the lens itself then pulls itself inwards and it shortens itself when it shortens itself the um, curvature of the lens increases the lens shortens and or the focal length decreases now here is the condition when we are looking at a nearby object the ciliary muscles contract the suspensory ligaments relax the lens shortens and the focal length of the lens decreases please remember the ciliary muscles the action of ciliary muscle and suspensory ligament both are antonymous when the ciliary muscle will contract the suspensory ligament will relax and when the ciliary muscle will relax the suspensory ligament has to contract because of the mechanism because of the arrangement of their fibers the ciliary muscles are radial are uh, circularly arranged the suspensory ligaments are radially arranged uh, so here's the condition when we are looking at a far away object the blue lines represent the far away object the rays uh, we assume the rays to be coming from infinity when they come from infinity they meet at the retina to form the image now this is th this has to be this condition okay when the lens is lengthened the focal length of the lens increases okay now when we are looking at a nearby object the length the red colored one the lens has to shorten its focal length has to increase it should be like this its focal length has to increase means the curvature has to increase so what happens the focal length decreases now when the focal length increases the first the rays diverge meet the lens and they converge to a greater extent to meet the retina otherwise if the lens would not have shortened the rays would have met behind the retina that would have led to hypermetropia we are going to deal that in another videos uh, so that's the condition if you like the video please do uh, like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much yeah.